What's up, fellow race fans? Mike here. Welcome back inside the garage area. And we got two, excuse me, not two, three big pieces of news. First up, you now know who the Grand Marshal is for the upcoming Daytona 500. It will be Mr. Worldwide himself, Pitbull. That's right, Pitbull will be the Grand Marshal for the 63rd Daytona 500 on February 14th. He is also an investor in track house so let me pull that up so yeah, he is also an investor in track house so he's co-owner of track house excuse me joins justin marks in the endeavor per bleacher report I think I reported on this a while back. He tweeted that he's been a fan of stock car racing since he first watched Days of Thunder, which I have not seen in its entirety, so if you've seen it, no spoilers, please. Now, he's got a permanent spot to watch the races on, from pit lane. So there's that. And they and he will also help on Trackhouse's efforts to further NASCAR-themed STEM education initiatives with inner-city charter schools. So. Now, to the two big pieces of news. First off, let's pull up the display capture, not the display capture, the window capture, right now. And we see that Denny Hamlin has re-upped with Joe Gibbs Racing. Now, he was set to be one of the most sought after free agents after this upcoming season, but instead he's staying with JGR. And this is per fan cited. I'll pull up the NASCAR.com article shortly. But it says that three time Daytona 500 champion Denny Hamlin was slated to enter the 2021 Cup Series season as one of the top pending free agents for when next offseason rolls around. Now we know that won't be the case. He has just signed a multi year contract extension to continue driving the number 11 Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. And he's bringing FedEx along with the ride, as expected, along for the ride, as expected. FedEx has also signed a multi-year extension to continue serving as the primary sponsor of the number 11 Toyota. Hamlin, of course, is still seeking his first championship. Almost had it in 2010, if not for a tire issue at Phoenix. He's only ever driven for Gibbs since he began competing at the Cup Series level in 2005. Now, let's take a look at the NASCAR.com article. These were all posted about three hours ago. In a release, in a tweet actually, Hamlin says, JDR, Joe Gibbs Racing, FedEx and I have shared a lot of big wins and special moments together throughout our 16 years. And we're nowhere near done. Still have a lot of racing and a lot of winning to do for the coach and all the FedEx team members. Let's go! And in team release, Joe Gibbs Racing says, we are very excited and grateful for our extension with long-standing partners FedEx and Jenny Hamlin. Let's relive memorable moments throughout their career and partnership. And they have this clip right here, so let's play that clip on Twitter. Sound that goes through 
All Star Race, his first pole, his first win. All Daytona 500s. And we're ready for this new season. Joe Gibbs said, The relationship between FedEx and our organization has been a tremendous success story in so many ways, and we're excited that FedEx will continue to support Denny and our number 11 team. Denny continues to perform at the top of our sport, and our goal is to continue to position him and FedEx to win a championship. Let's hope that comes sooner rather than later. One more piece of news. Trackhouse Racing has some super fly paint schemes. Of course, we've already got K1 Speed. That looks awesome. That number 99 Camaro for Daniel Suarez. That looks exceptional. We got Pump It Up. Again, an awesome paint scheme. Now this one that just released. I Fly. Never heard of them. But I am liking that paint scheme. I cannot wait to see all of these schemes on track for track house. And these pictures are courtesy of Jayski's Silly Season site. One of my go to sites for NASCAR news. Doggone it. These track house schemes for Daniel Suarez. They are just awesome. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, are you excited for Hamlin and FedEx and their extension with Joe Gibbs Racing? What do you think of the new track house schemes? And what is your prediction for Speed Weeks coming up? Who do you think will win the Clash? And who do you think will win the poll for the upcoming Daytona 500? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Rock on, race fans.